Hi everybody, this is David Kino with Value Charts. And uh, this is the free video for Monday, August 8th, 2016. So we're gonna just take a couple of uh, looks here at a couple of stocks that would be uh, shaping up to be really good uh, targets of the CS MFT Pro setup that we're trying to be on the lookout for. Here in SPX, you see that there's a little bit of a pause today. However, SPX is a bullish move on the daily chart. Uh, we do have a little bit of consolidation here on the hourly, however, uh, the uh, CSMFT Pro should be reading this as a bullish continuation trend. So looking to trade that in the uh, bullish direction here. And in the opposite direction here in Amazon, we have to be a little bit cautious because you have to see the fading momentum here on the daily. We have this head and shoulders pattern forming up on the hourly. You may be able to see that inside these bars. However, you're looking for a potential pullback to the 8 uh, and then maybe even back here to the 740 level. So uh, again, on this particular daily screen, you're looking for a bearish pullback. All right, now here in Tesla, now Tesla's been a very kind of rocky, choppy kind of price movement here on the daily and the hourly is reflecting that also. However, if you keep in mind the directional momentum and the fact that we're now closing below the 8 EMA, then a potential pullback to the 50 day and a potential break below that probably will occur uh, um uh, here in the next week or so if te Tesla continues its momentum. Part of the, the bullish momentum has been from earnings, even though they missed their number. The the fact is you actually got a, uh, a pretty good report and future outlook on production. So Tesla is kind of burning through that report and then probably going to be pulling back here in the next week. Now, uh, I'm going to end on Apple because Apple is uh, pretty strong. Uh, you can see that momentum is definitely higher. We're going to look and trade Apple to the upside as part of that uh, CSMFT Pro momentum indicator. Again, you're looking at this to go higher. Um, it probably will continue higher till the release of the uh, the iPhone 7. So that might be going on another month here, uh, at least two weeks of bullishness in Apple. So again, the next target here is about uh, 110, 115 in Apple going higher. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody.